So the reason transformation is so high on the organizational agenda, I think is the culmination of a number of factors that have come together. The first is the decline of entry barriers, which means that competitive advantages last for shorter and shorter periods of time. And so companies can't just exploit advantages they've created, so that's one. I think the second is that digital has now gone into business models. So digital really first began with marketing, then we had digital products where you had two-way communications between company and customer, and now we've got dis digital actually changing business models, and I think that then ricochets back to the organization. So the biggest barriers to transformation, interestingly, are previous success. Because an organization that's successful was built to do something really, really well. And when it has to transform, all those structures and antibodies and processes and things uh, get in the way, right? Because you've now got to change them. So I think the best place to start is really by looking at your portfolio of opportunities and asking the question, which are the bets you're going to place for the future? and which are the things you're going to let fade, and which are the things that are going to represent the here and now, and, uh, and make very selective choices about those. I think the final thing I would say is you really want to put your best people on opportunities. And this is something that Lou Gerstner said years ago about IBM. He said, great companies put their best people on opportunities. Average companies put their best people on problems. So I think when you're contemplating the transformation, uh, the tendency is often to look at the boxes and lines and let's move the organizational chart around. And I think you really need to much more deeply understand how people are connected to each other in the organization. Because a lot of times transformation success is a function of whether you have trusted networks across the existing organizational silos. So I think that's where I would start. I would start with who knows whom, who trusts whom, how do we cut across the structures that represent the past? So my recent book is called Seeing Around Corners, How to Spot Inflection Points in Business Before They Happen. And the pattern of an inflection point is very interesting in that it begins where the signals are really weak, then the signals get stronger and stronger, and then eventually it becomes like fact and everybody can see what's going on. So my book is really about how do you pick up those weak signals that things may be changing, how do you then decide what journey you want to take the organization on, and relevant to transformation, how do you bring the organization with you? So that's been what I'm pretty obsessed about these days.